Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Uh, we've gone to DuPont State Forest. It's a beautiful autumn day and I thought I'd bring you along with me. I'm coming out to get some uh, photographs for my Instagram. I do a lot of photographs just with my iPhone. So I thought I'd bring you along, share with you some of my tips and uh, see what kind of cool shots we can get. Oh, this spot is just awesome. Look at this guys. This is Lake Julia. It just looks gorgeous today. This is just one of my favorite spots to come to. This lake's always just so peaceful. And now you can see with all these fall colors, it's just alive today. It's just amazing. Look at that beautiful reflection on the water over there. But uh, let's look around and see what kind of photographs we can find. All right, as you can see, it is extremely bright out today. So I'm gonna kind of come back here into the woods a little bit and try to see if I can get into some shadow so that way my photos won't be so washed out. This is such a cool area back here. There's always something to look at, you know, whether you want to take a photograph of a, you know, like the beautiful lake or if you even just want to take something like this, check that out. It's just like a cool spot in between two rocks. So we're going to go deeper into the forest and look for something good. Maybe we can do something over here. So lately I've been really trying to get into taking cool detailed shots. Camera doesn't want to stay put for you guys. I've been really into taking these detail shots and I really like the way these reeds look, these grasses coming out with the leaves, the fall leaves in the water and you can kind of see into the water a little bit. So I always try to get lots of different layers, lots of colors and contrasting with light and dark, you know, in the blue water over here Looks really cool, so let's take a little picture right there. Another little tip I always try to do is when you're out, you know, try taking a shot, you know, horizontal or vertical, and then also try to get one horizontal. There's a lot of cool details going on in the water here, so don't be afraid to get really up close to your subject matter, you know. There's all the light on the water here and a lot of leaves going on. So I'm going to get, try to get real close and see what happens. Don't be afraid to move the camera around a lot too. I'm just moving it around and just by changing the angle, the orientation of the camera, now I got all these beautiful trees over there across the lake in the shot as well. So it's kind of a cool angle, you know, laying down here. So you see what I mean. So I was playing around for a little bit. And I really got a shot right here that I like, and you can see what I was talking about. There's leaves over here in the bottom right corner, and you can see like into the water, and then the green grass is coming up. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. So I will be posting this one to Instagram for sure. Uh, if you don't know, my Instagram is Kurt J. Phillips. Go over, check it out. Tell me what you think. So I don't know if you guys know this, but both Sarah and I were art majors in college, and uh, my love of art and photography uh, really helps bring me out into nature where we live here. It's just perfect for all the landscape photography and uh, a lot of the videography that we like to include in our videos. So uh, that's just one of the great, great things about living in uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. So years ago, I got a really bad hurt back and I really couldn't do much exercise at all. But what I could do was go and go for hikes in the woods. And uh, I was out there with my smartphone just walking around and then I decided to take some photographs. And that's just really what started my whole Instagram account and my desire to want to move down here to the mountains and everything. So it's funny how like a little injury like that sparked a whole change in my life, you know, and it's created a whole new passion. So uh, always look for the silver lining, I guess, you know. So here's a nice little view. I'm gonna to try to get my camera up here. I'll snap a photo here. And uh, if you could see, what I'm trying to do here is, I always try to take photographs and think about composition. And instead of having the water right here dead on in the center, I'm trying to angle it off just to a little bit of the side and showing all those trees around there. Can you guys see that? So never really wanna take a shot dead on of your subject matter. 
I always try to keep it a little skew. I think it creates a little bit more of an interesting composition. So maybe you guys would want to give that a try with your smartphone photography. So right above me here, there's some really cool orange and red leaves. So I'm going to try to get a cool shot of that. I don't think that's going to turn out very well though, because the sun's right up there. I couldn't even see what I was taking the photograph of, but never be afraid to give things a try. It's just so bright out today. I don't know if I'm going to have much success with photographing the lake, but that's just the way it is sometimes, you know, especially the way I take photographs where I just kind of go out and I start hiking around. It's really like, you know, I consider myself an opportunistic pho photographer, you know, just kind of in the right place at the right time. I don't really set things up or do much prep. Just get out there, get into the landscape, see what happens. Here's another little area. I've been here before many, many times, and that's another thing I like to do when I'm taking photographs, is I come to the same place over and over again and see it all in different seasons, you know? And uh, this little area right here just always looks so nice to me, you know, and especially right now with all these beautiful fall leaves and everything. So I'm going to try to get a photograph of that and uh, see if it turns out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. It's always a little tricky, but let's give it a try. Like I say, I always flip the phone up. Whoa! I'm sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulties, but always flip the phone up. Try to get it from a different angle. I don't know if you guys know this, but when you grow your hair long and you get a nice beard going on, you get magical powers, just like Gandalf and Dumbledore. So we are gonna go over and have our lunch by this cool little stream that I know of, and uh, we're gonna teleport there. So everybody, hang on. Ooh, all right. That was fun. So I uh, got a nice little spot here and I'm gonna have my lunch. I brought with me a delicious, uh, brought a delicious green smoothie right here. A few years ago, I decided to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables than I ever had before because I heard that it was anti-inflammatory and uh, it really has helped out a lot over the years. Uh, it really lets me, uh, you know, recover faster when I've been out. I used to have a bad back and uh, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables has really helped with that. And uh, like I said, it really helps me to recover faster and then let me get out and go on uh, more hikes. Ah, that's good. So if you guys are interested, I'll put the recipe in the link below. And uh, so that way you can give it a try. This one's got uh, pineapple and mango and spinach and uh, lots of good stuff in it. Really tastes great and really lets me get out there and get to more hikes. cleaning up my uh, water bottle real fast. And then we'll get going to uh, another location. All right, so I think it's time to head over to Bridal Veil Falls and try our luck over there getting some more photographs. All right, here we are, Bridal Veil Falls. It's so awesome here. It's my favorite place at DuPont State Forest. So I'm gonna bring you guys around and show you some of my favorite little things to take photos of. I just love this waterfall, you know? It's just so epic, and the water's just sliding down these rocks behind you. There's so many cool photo opportunities. It's just so peaceful. It's so loud. It's just, it's really great to just come and, and just a very nice, cool place to come and reflect and think about what's going on with everything and uh, look around at all the natural beauty. All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you had fun coming and taking some photographs with me. 
please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell, so that way you'll be updated when we post new content. Take care, bye-bye. So, uh, if, if you haven't, oh, oh no. Uh.